It'd be, it'd be a very sort of heavy spaceship to be make it all out of nickel. Oh, yeah. Um, Turning now to a mystery in space we've been following since it first appeared in our skies three months ago. Most people think interstellar objects are simple. They follow gravity's pull through the darkness between stars, and they're completely wrong. Over the last 24 hours, something shifted in the 3i Atlas observation campaign. New images dropped from Japan, then the United States, then Thailand. Three different countries, three completely independent observation teams, three different telescope systems processing data separately, and every single one of them captured the same impossible pattern. The center of this object stays tight, concentrated, locked in place like something dense is holding it together from the inside. But the outer material? That's behaving differently. It's moving directionally, flowing along specific paths, forming structures that maintain their shape across hours of observation. This isn't camera blur from tracking errors. This isn't atmospheric distortion playing tricks on sensitive instruments. This is a physical pattern forming in space, captured independently by observers on three continents using completely different equipment. And it's consistent across every single frame. And quietly, without fanfare, or official announcements, the International Asteroid Warning Network just activated coordination mode. Not because anyone's panicking, not because disaster is imminent, but because the data coming in stopped fitting routine categories. And when that happens, protocols change. If you're curious why backyard telescopes keep revealing details NASA won't discuss, subscribe. Because what these images show isn't hype or speculation. It's a pattern emerging from independent observations. And when the same structure appears across three countries using different equipment processed by different teams who don't coordinate with each other, that's not coincidence. That's data worth paying attention to. The first image came from Japan. At initial glance, the frame looks calm, unremarkable even, just another faint glow against the star field, the kind of thing you'd scroll past without a second thought if you didn't know what you were looking at, but zoom in. Enhance the contrast to pull signal above the noise floor, and suddenly, the picture transforms completely. The center isn't diffuse like a normal comet coma that spreads out evenly as gas sublimates and expands. Instead, it's tight, concentrated, maintaining an almost perfectly circular boundary, as if something dense and cohesive is sitting at the core, not fragmenting under thermal stress, not breaking apart the way loosely bound comet nuclei typically do when solar heating creates internal pressure. When comets vent material as sunlight heats their surfaces, it sprays chaotically. Random jets erupt from weak spots in the crust. Irregular expansion follows the spin of the nucleus. You get messy, unpredictable patterns that change dramatically as the object rotates and different regions face the sun. But what Japan captured looks guided, controlled, as if the flow is following invisible channels or being directed by forces we're not seeing in the visible spectrum. Then the United States observations arrived. Darker skies away from light pollution, longer exposures to capture fainter details, better atmospheric seeing conditions that let telescopes resolve finer structures. And what showed up in those images was even clearer, even more difficult to explain naturally a long, thin extension forming behind the object, trailing along its direction of motion. Not a smear from tracking error when the telescope can't quite keep up with the object's movement. Not a processing artifact from stacking multiple frames incorrectly. A real physical structure appearing in space, visible across multiple independent frames taken hours apart. You can see shape in that extension. You can see defined orientation. You can watch it holding together across time when natural debris fields should be scattering, spreading out, losing coherence as individual particles follow slightly different trajectories. Natural material expelled from comets disperses quickly. It fans out. It diffuses. The further it gets from the source, the more it blurs into surrounding space. But this extension maintains form. It stays defined across remarkable distances. It follows the object's path like a contrail cutting through atmosphere, except there's no atmosphere in space to create contrails or hold material in organized streams. So what's generating it? What mechanism keeps this structure coherent over distances where random thermal motion and radiation pressure should have dispersed it into invisibility? Now here's where people are getting the story wrong, jumping to dramatic conclusions that miss what's actually significant about this situation. 
The International Asteroid Warning Network didn't activate coordination mode because anyone thinks 3i Atlas poses collision risk or represents some kind of danger to Earth. That's not why these protocols exist or how they get triggered. They activated because this object represents a perfect real-world training scenario. An actual celestial body moving through actual space, presenting genuine tracking challenges that test how well observatories worldwide can synchronize their measurements, share data across institutional and national boundaries, and maintain continuous tracking on difficult targets. Space agencies use real objects for these exercises because simulations can't replicate all the messy complications of actual observation. Equipment failures, weather interruptions, scheduling conflicts, data format incompatibilities, communication delays between teams in different time zones, all the practical friction that makes global coordination hard. And 3i Atlas makes an excellent test case precisely because it's difficult. It's faint, pushing the limits of what smaller telescopes can detect. It's fast, requiring careful ephemeris updates and precise pointing to keep it in frame. And most importantly, it's showing structural features that don't fit simple models, which means teams have to actually think about what they're measuring rather than just running routine pipelines. So what do we make of these consistent observations showing structure where we expected diffuse chaos? The conservative interpretation says we're witnessing exotic but natural behavior from an interstellar object with composition and structure we've simply never encountered before. That 3i atlas formed under conditions so different from our solar system's comet populations that it behaves in ways our models don't predict because those models were built on limited data from local objects. Observers are all capturing the same organized patterns instead of the random variations you'd expect from chaotic natural processes. Something about 3i Atlas doesn't fit the template, and whether that something is exotic natural behavior or something else entirely, figuring it out requires exactly what's happening now. Multiple independent teams capturing data, comparing results, testing explanations against observations that can't be controlled or manufactured. That's how science works when the universe shows you something you don't immediately understand. You watch carefully, measure precisely, and follow the data wherever it leads, even when it leads somewhere unexpected.